What's up everyone? This is Ronnie just coming to you with a haul video of some of the stuff we picked up on our road trip. Um, got it all still in bags, all with price tags on. I gotta get it listed here. eBay's been slow, which is always um, right around the week of Christmas, week after Christmas. It slows down pretty much for a little while. Uh, we are on the we took a six day road trip upstate New York, a few other places in between. And just showing you this video to show you some of the things we picked up along the way. I'll just show you that you can find stuff everywhere. Um, see, we started right here at Cape Cod. We kind of did this backwards. But first day we drove up to Maine. We stopped somewhere in Boston, somewhere in the South Shore. We didn't really go too many places. Wanted to get through Boston at a certain time, did. Um, Stopped somewhere up in the Hampton area or Portsmouth, somewhere up that way. Then we went to the outlets up in Kiddington. Got some personal stuff. Then went over to Concord. We stayed the night in Concord, actually. Um, then the second day, we took off to upstate. Well, through, through Vermont, it was snowing that day. It was kind of sketchy driving you know, new truck up a mountain road. GPS had us go on some crazy 31 mile. Seen three cars on that road in 31 miles. It was kind of sketchy. But uh, it was pretty cool. Went to, got out in Burlington, crossed over Lake Champagne by ferry. That was interesting. Then looped up here at one point where, like in this area, you're only like 20 miles from Canada. Another area, you're, I think at the same place, you're like 60 miles from Montreal. It's kind of interesting and different. Really, not a lot up in this area. It's very desolate. Made our way, actually it was like before, about an hour from uh, Watertown. Watertown's here. It was probably Ports Dam, I think. We stayed the night. It was about as far as I was willing to drive. It gets dark so early, and it was dark out there. Went to a bunch of, a few thrift stores in that area. Uh, we were looking at a place somewhere up here. Didn't really like it. Um, just looking around. Visited a few places in Syracuse. We cut across here. Stayed in Elmira. I think we had a place in Corning or something like that, or Ithaca. Um, we stooped back around. What was it? New Year, Christmas Eve. Actually, we were thrifting at a few places in Elmira and Binghamton and Orne also Oneonta before heading up to Cooperstown. And then we shot home to Albany. And we actually went to Gloversville, which is about 30 miles north of. We're looking at old glove factory. I thought it would be a great place to make into a house business kind of thing. But unfortunately, town looks like it's desolate. At one time, I told Chad this, and Chad was laughing. Um, 90, 95% of all gloves between 1890 and 1950 were made in Gloversville, New York. Um, don't know why, but there a lot of empty factories and stuff like that. Um, and then just swooped directly here to Mass Pike and back home. So, yeah, it was a nice little trip. It was fun, but you know what? Let's get into what we found. Did very well on our... Did very well on our trip, uh, for the most part, I believe. And a lot of this came from, like, just hey, out in the middle of nowhere, nowhere thrift stores. Um, you know, like this. This was a pair of uh, Barber men's pants and new with tags. Uh, just regular... Goodwill, these were like six, six bucks or so. Um, pair of Foot Joy golf pants. This FJ logo almost looks like F and L. Like a polyester blend. These usually do fairly well for me. I think we paid eight dollars for these, but I'll get about forty, about forty dollars. For these, and usually, usually these sell fairly quickly. Uh, 
we found this with Brooks Brothers women's trench coat. It has a liner in there, zip out lining. The lining is actually wool, nylon, and cashmere. Paid six ninety nine on that. It's probably seventy five bucks or so. It might be more, but we'll go with at least seventy five. Got a lot of stuff over here. Trying to figure out where to go with it first. All these came from the same store. I actually got six different pairs of. These, these are David Briston Buffalo. Uh, brand new with tags. Suggested retail was $109. And they were $4.99. We'll end up getting six different pairs. Another pair. They had a few others, but I kind of stuck with the... Uh, with the bigger, with the bigger ones. I think you wanted these for you. <laughs> I know we got more stuff than these jeans in the bag. But... but a few more. These were all new tags. One, two, three, four, five. There's five there. Some other stuff. That's very... Oh, no. There was a six pad. I've never really sold those before in the past, but uh, we'll see. Found this by, by Jaya or something like that. The wool and cotton ones do pretty well. I uh, paid five bucks, two x, two extra aisle, two extra large. Probably will get 30, 35 bucks for that. They gave us this bag. Holy I'll throw it over there, bro. Something else. Wife got. And we picked up this uh, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It's five ninety nine, but it is new with tags, so you know can't can't lose. I mean, got to be at least I don't know eighty bucks retail, saying two sixty. Another I store, miss. huh? You, you did miss that, but you know. Another pair of these Footjoy golf pants. These ones are new with tags. Uh, paid $8.99, probably $50, $60 bucks on these. You want to run out of space here pretty quickly. Let's see what else we got here. Pair of women's Lauren, Ralph Lauren pants. These are newer tags also. Um, paid $7. Green was half off, wasn't it? That day? Yeah, green. Green. So it was three fifty for these. I mean, probably 30 bucks or so. Maybe a little bit more. Um, let's see what we got here. Hugo Boss two-piece men's suit. Paid $18 for this. Um, I'm up. Yeah, paid eighteen bucks, but I uh, usually get at least a hundred dollars for these. They're a little bit slower seller. Um, forty-two long. It's a newer tag by Hugo Boss, and they actually have the model number right on that, right there. So. Not so bad. I mean, getting a bunch of other things splurred on some things. Um, see here. That is that. Rest of the stuff I think is yours.
and these are a pair of loafers. They're Bally B A L L Y. I think we paid. They were size eleven. I think we paid like five bucks for these. They need a little cleaning, but uh, see right there, they're not really that worn. I'm not sure what they go for. These are actually more recent shoes. And see here. Patagonia fleece. This was six bucks. Um, you know, I don't know what fleece they're going for these days. This is a just a vintage Tommy Bahama shirt. I got it. It's like this color. That's the box tag, older tag by them. Extra large. Has the crest on the chest. I don't know what that would get. That was that was half off. It was like two fifty. This was another shirt that we got for two fifty. This is a Ethan. Pretty decent uh, men's selling shirt. Thing is, though, you do find these sometimes, but the buttons are cracked. You have to make sure and check on the buttons. But outside of that, it's not too bad. And okay. this was the last thing from that store. This was half off, too. This is a Brooks Brothers cardigan, linen and cotton, three dollars. I mean, has these mother of pearl buttons. You know they're cracked. They look pretty good. So expect at least thirty dollars on that one. Easier. Yeah. Going to the bags would be. This was a half off. This is a older Xenia Second jacket, probably early 90s. It was wool and cashmere. It's green, like window pane, um, dark green. But it's wool and cashmere. is half off of $7.99, so it was $4. So not bad at all on that one. Wife found this. This is a Star Tie by Starfish Vineyard Vines. Probably 30 35 or so dollars on that. I think that ties were that's not it. Ties were a dollar ninety-nine. Picked up this belt. Don't usually go through the belts too much. This is Genuine alligator. No idea. See what the brand is. Uh, we can quickly look it up, I guess. That was that weird name. I have no idea what it is. Did you say alligator and Yeah, I figured for three dollars I wasn't gonna look it up. Uh used so would less things. Oh, sinus is a kick in. I think I brought up cold home from New York also. So do a screen share here. Hey, I got the flu shot this show. It's not supposed to get this. First one came up, sold for $51. Um, another crocodile one here sold for. 15, so I don't know. Might end up in the best belt. Eight sold, and there's currently 16, so has like a 33% sell through rate. So it's going to be a long tail, but I'm only in it for $3. So it's in good condition. Put it up and see what happens. Not gonna lose any sleep over that one. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm back on this screen. 
this was ten dollars was on sale i mean uh with the 30 percent off coupon just a brooks brothers new tags polo shirt 2xl a lot of new tag stuff we came across and i'll buy new tag stuff i think that's not bad. This was seven dollars. This is a Levi's Pearl Snap flannel shirt. Let's see what else we got here. New tags, Ralph Lauren pants. These were ten dollars, and they're big size, if I remembered right. Yeah, forty six thirty four. I don't know what we'll get for them, but it's not going to be too bad. This is another pair of big pants. These are men's dress pants. Brand is balling. You see them at the men's store, stuff like that. They're usually pretty expensive. These are new tag size 48. Paid, paid about $12 for them. Um, at least 50, I'm guessing. Maybe a little bit better. This is a sport coat. Paid seven dollars for this. It's Dolce and Gabbana. It's probably feels like a cotton blend. It is cotton, one hundred percent cotton. It's it's gonna need to be dry cleaned. It's light colored and has a few little dirt spots. I believe it'll come out pretty easily. Not sure what that's gonna blow for, but seven dollars plus maybe another six or so to get it dry cleaned should not be that bad at all. Let's see the tags of some of the places we got this stuff at, so you know. See it's right there. Elmira, New York. Where was the other one? That one was the Goodwill of the Berkshires. I don't remember where that was, though. Um, we got... Okay, let me see. That's for the wife. That's for the trash. Uh, then we got this two-piece women's crazy, like, western wear thing. Mochisi, whatever that brand is. Higher and women's brand. It's cotton blend. Has a pearl snap button on the pan. That's pretty interesting. And here's the top. My hand's stuck. And here's the top. I mean, it's just really cool. I don't know what it's going to go for. Paid about $30 for it. It's all pearl snaps. has a leather on it. It's beaded. Really cool. Let me see here. Go with this bag. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren polo shirt, paid four bucks. Four extra B, four extra big. I believe there's three of them. Yeah, there's two others. One and a green one. These will get lotted together. Be easier to sell it that way. Fit these in either probably a medium flat rate or just a regular box if it's going close enough to us. And probably ask a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars. This is 
uh, is he a Nepal really high end men's suit company has uh, certi uh, certified surgeon cuffs when they come apart like that? Really nice jacket. I think it's wool. Feels like a wool. I don't know. Well, it's seven dollars. Probably at least a hundred dollars plus. That's easy to play. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Florida, assuming that's a University of Florida's jersey. Maybe Danny Waffle jersey, maybe. Champion. That was like five bucks. Foot Joy golf shirt. You know, probably about 30 bucks, size large. Paid five bucks. $15 for this two-piece men's suit. It's double-breasted. It's probably from the late 80, or late 90s by, um, by Canali. Two-piece men's suit. It's double-breasted. Um, I'm trying to figure out where the tag is. It's probably a wool. Yeah, 100% wool, 44 long. But uh, paid 15, probably can get at least, I don't know, probably 120 ish. Maybe a little better. All right, let's see what else. These, I don't know if you can see it very well there. These are a pair of men's churches shoes. Paid four ninety nine. Pretty good condition. These are probably, I would say, about seventy five bucks. Men's tie paid three dollars. Charles tire wit. Pretty decent. I like the pattern on that. Nice, like, um, Glenn Platt design. Probably only a twenty five dollar tie or something, but. Ties are pretty easy to store and list. We got all these in one store. The wife found one and I, no, wife found one and I found three. And we're trying to argue over who is the coolest. Mine. <laughs> the Robert Graham shirts. These used to sell extremely well. They've kind of slowed down a little bit on the, in the last year or so. I think they were they slowed down, and then they kind of picked up steam again. This is a decent design. Um, flip cuffs, it's embroidered, size large. Probably get about seventy five or so for this. Um, might sit for a little while at that price, but try to get it. Um, yeah, I mean, it seemed that they made him popular again with the show. Um, what was the show with the Cuban lady? No, not Cuban, Colombian. Oh, the one with the big. Modern family. The guy there in that show. How? How was it? Yes, I guess. I guess I don't know either. The 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 bigger guy in the show. Wore the Robert Graham shirts, and he kind of some of the shirts for that. If he wore them in an episode of the show, actually would do really well. But here was another one we found. Just this is just kind of plain, but uh, that'll be about fifty. And they were uh, five ninety nine each. This is just a Ralph Lauren, but it's that Mardi Gras print. Um, probably do a little bit better with this. Probably like 30 paid four. This is another one we got here. This is a limited edition one. Is there. And 
It's actually pretty cool. You see the back of it. Same store. Yeah. It has these like metal, almost like pearl snap kind of buttons. They're actually the limited edition ones. Are actually numbered, hand numbered, as this is forty-eight of three eighty-four. So that's pretty cool. It's probably worth at least at least seventy-five, if not more, depending on the style. Um, let's see here. It's just another Bajaya shirt. Found one of these before. See it again there. That was three bucks. Three into like 30, Shut 25. Cha -cha -cha. The way found ones. this Robert Graham shirt. Kind of crazy with the car print on it. It says Robert Graham exclusive design. I couldn't find another one like this. I didn't look for that long either. Um, this one was dollar ninety nine, and we found these out in the middle of nowhere Goodwill <laughs> Chris, know Christmas what? Eve morning. They all been dry cleaned, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, short sleeve, short sleeve ones don't sell as well, but that'll probably be at least fifty dollars. And then this is just a. Masters, see the print right there, Masters Tour, Masters Shirt. These are, you know, not crazy money, but it's three bucks. Get about 25 or so for it. Masters is in another month or so, maybe. See here, we here we got a... This is a Patagonia shirt, 100% cotton. This was $4.99. I love when they just pile everything in a bag. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to it. <laughs> it's a crazy tie-dye Ralph Lauren shirt. This was five bucks. No idea what it's going to go for, but it's different. It's unique. Who found it? You. So oh. you found. So you found three of the things so far. Okay. Keep so in count. So far. Keep in count. No. What about the Brooks Brothers? I'm joking, Coco. Let me see here. This was for her. Let's see here. This I paid. There's an anchor chip from there. Yeah, it's not made by anybody. I paid actually $60 for this suit. It's a Gucci men's suit. It has the old, it's made by Zegna. See right here. This is the oldest Zedney attack. This is in the era where Tom Ford actually ran Gucci. And these this is like a nice flannel. This should sell probably 350 to 400 range. Maybe I might be able to get as high as 500. Just depends if it sells on sale or not. But it's also... Yeah, also surgeon cuffs, so I oh, know they were sewn closed. <laughs> but uh that's weird. But nice two piece suit, here's the drawers, the pants. See the Gucci. This is a Footjoy golf shirt, brand new with tags, five ninety nine. Pair of women's Saint John. Oh, I didn't even know the Saint Johns were new with tags. Oh my god, really? Yeah, new with tag. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh my god, let me see. Oh, wow. 
So these are newer tags. They were ten dollars. See the retail on them is three ninety five. So that was pretty cool. You didn't even know that. Wow! Surprise. <laughs> That was Christmas Eve. We were buying stuff because we had to go look at that house and then hurry up to my parents' house for dinner. This is nothing that crazy. Uh, paid six bucks for it. J. Jill New Tags Women's shirt retail is seventy bucks. Probably, I'm guessing, could get thirty-five, forty for that. Uh, that's for you too. This is another J. Jill women's sweater. Paid nine dollars for this, eight ninety nine. Retail is eighty dollars. Um, you know, probably get at least half of that, at least maybe a little better. It's a nice heavy sweater. This is made by Patagonia. And that's paid nine ninety nine for that. Probably get at least forty for that. I believe this is a wool. Uh, hope if I look at the tag right here, it is lamb's wool and nylon. That's not too bad. All right, two more bags. Right here, we have a Orbit shirt. Paid four ninety nine. Probably your, you know, just bread and butter stuff. You know, it'd be about thirty five bucks. This is Ralph Lauren. Their their uh, sportswear brand R L X. New it tags. $85 retail. They had it for five bucks. I just sold a similar one for this for 48 bucks. So not too bad. This is a Orbis 2X sweater jumper kind of thing. Sweater vest, not sweater vest, but jumper. And this is a blend of cotton, silk, and cashmere. So probably about 40, 50 bucks on that. What does you sneak a lot of stuff into these bags? I know this. You. <laughs> this is a woman's wool rich jacket. This is newer. This was only six bucks. It's a size medium. It's wool. Um, you know, probably 40, 50 bucks, I'm guessing. A pair of men's golf shorts. These are made by Loudmouth. Actually do fairly well. Probably get at least 30 for these. These were five bucks. I actually looked these up in the store. <laughs> NFL pants. They're made by some company. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Z-U-B-A-Z. -Z. Probably get about 40 bucks for these. Paid six. They had newer tags. <sighs> kind of crazy. These are more stuff for you. All right. More stuff. Oh, no. That's more stuff. Yeah, this one. I this was... This is Eddie Bauer. Goose Down. Invest. Paid eight bucks for it, but... Got it because there's newer tags. Regular retail was 80 bucks, so. Figured there was some money to be made there. 
pair of vineyard vine pants. These look like they were brand new. Regular price of six fifty, I think. Um, you know, probably forty bucks or so. Brooks Brothers Slim Fit shirt, five bucks, probably about twenty five or so. Disney character shirt, probably late seventies, early eighties. I love it. Made in USA. That was five bucks or six bucks. I don't know what that is sold for. Let's see what else we got here. So Neiman Markets leather like shirt jacket suede. I think they charge us sort of a price, so that was four ninety nine. Not exactly one hundred percent sure, but it's got to be more than four ninety nine. Uh, don't know what this is. Oh, just a pair of Brooks Brothers pants. Nice, nice design. I thought it had on it. There. Uh, Page six, probably at about 35, I'm hoping. Got one more bag. Oh, two more things. Uh, now this Eddie Bauer goose down heavy, almost like one of those, uh, almost like a wool ridge or like a Filson type of, type of jacket. Paid, I paid a little bit more for this than I'd like to. Paid $19, $18.99, but I think that'll be about a $100 jacket. And one more bag here. It's a Spider-Man jacket made by Marvel Comics, five bucks. No idea what it's going to go for. It's 2X. Just hope more than five bucks. This is just a Brooks Brothers. <laughs> Thank you. This is a Brooks Brothers um, sport coat, silk, wool, linen blend. <sighs> okay, I paid seven dollars for this or so and should do fairly well. Here's another Brooks Brothers, another one of those like silk wool and uh, silk wool and linen blends. Paid seven bucks. I don't know, sixty bucks on those probably. This is, I've sold this shirt a few different times when I found it. It's by All Saints. I can get the tag. I'm just a regular shirt. Probably get about 40 bucks for it. Paid five. And I think this might be the last thing I can find. More stuff, I know that for a fact, but I don't know where it is. This is an L.L. Bean. You know, I don't pick up a lot of L.L. Bean stuff here and there, but this I thought was more interesting. It's camouflage. I figured it had to be, or hunting, kind of whatever you want to call it. But I figured it had to sell for something. Probably, I'm guessing, 25 30 bucks. But uh, that's all I can find at this moment. But uh, that's what we got. I mean, so we could find stuff. Anywhere, you know, you just have to get out there and do it. Put in the time. The stuff's out there. Uh, don't be afraid to go out there and get it. I mean, people say I'm lucky. I don't know if it's lucky or just being at the right place at the right time. But you got to put yourself in that position. But 
you made it to the end, God bless you. <laughs> Hope I feel better. But like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Have a good day.